everyone is shaped in line with the assignment on his life shaped shaped your shape is in line with the assignment and if you want to discover your assignment you must check your shape and what how do you check your shape you take the acronym s for spirituality if you want to understand the assignment on your life you must check your shape and the s is for spirituality there is nothing you can do about impact until you are spiritual if you want to make impact in life you must understand the place of the spirit romans chapter 8 and verse 9 the bible say he that has not the spirit of christ is not of him in other words if you do not have the holy that is why i see people who say i'm born again but i don't speak in tongues if you have the holy ghost you should speak in tongues if you don't speak in tongues you don't have the holy ghost and if you don't have the holy ghost you are not part of jesus acts chapter 19 verse 2 john the the the, 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 the disciples asked them have you received the holy ghost since you believe and they said we don't know whether there's any holy ghost and in verse 3 he asked them to what baptism are you baptized and they said the baptism of john so, spirituality hush heart heart If any man must make impact in life, he must have a good heart. The problem people have is the state of their heart. Write this down. The heart of any problem is the problem of the heart. The heart of any problem is what? Is the problem of the heart. Your heart. Psalm 44, verse 21. God was speaking. The Bible says, and God knows the secrets of the heart. Psalm 44, verse 21. Shall not God search out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. That thing that's in your heart, say God knows it. God knows it. Proverbs 27, 19. As you water faith answered to face, so is the heart of man to man. God is saying, when people see themselves in what in water, they identify themselves by their face. But when I see people, I identify them by their heart. God may not know your name, but He knows your heart. How did He lift up David? Heart, heart. You have an assignment. Spirituality. Heart. Hey, ability. I'm talking of shape. That if you must fulfill and make impact, you must understand the concept of shape. A is for ability. Understand your ability. Understand your gifting. Am I communicating here? Yeah? Am I communicating? First Corinthians 7, I think verse 7, the Bible is talking about every man having a gift. Every man. Every man. Every man has his proper gift. There are some about, in Romans 12, am I, am I too fast? <laughs> in Romans 12, verse 6, the Bible says every man is giving gifts according to the grace that is given to him. There are some of us, our gift is different from the gift of other people. Some people are there. They are, they are gifting. They are making impact because of the gifts they have. Am I talking to somebody here? There are some people when it's time to worship God, they pick up the mic in the choir. We just know who is worshiping because he has a gift. So there are people so what i'm saying our gifts are different our so discover you are what are you good at what are you good at and stretching that color libro hold the show ability is important don't forget say s is for spirituality h is for art a is for ability p is for Power, child of God. If 
you must understand your shape you must understand power power psalm 62 11 once god has spoken twice have i heard it that power belongs to god luke chapter 10 verse 19 i am an animal shaka baleka leka leka behold i give unto you power over all the serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall die and it is hot here when you carry power you cannot be hot when you carry power you cannot be stopped when you carry power you cannot be hindered when you carry power you cannot be limited when you carry power you cannot be ostracized when you carry power you cannot be relegated when you carry power you cannot be segregated when you carry power you cannot be ignored when you carry power you can't go to extinction i come to prophesy in this meeting today get ready the power of god is coming upon you I said the power of God is coming upon you. You shall receive that power in your marriage, that power in your house, that power in your home, that power in your business. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up. No man can bring you down. Power is on your side. Power is on your side. experience he has acquired he's so bad that in several offices and to get jobs in certain quarters you are told that you must be a graduate with at least five years working because nobody wants you to come and learn on their job don't come and use their machine as trial and error if they're going to train you then it has to be either you forfeit your salary because they believe they cannot be paying you full salary and you are laying on the job. So they'll slash it 20%, 50%. There are things you have to pass through in life, sir. It's very normal. 